Well, greetings and welcome to Live at 345. I'm delighted today to have as our guest, Hank Stenvers from uh, the Dutch Mennonite Church in the Netherlands. And um, Hank has a lot of experience both in leading that church and also as secretary of the Deacon Commission of Mennonite World Conference. Hank, we're so glad to have you with us today. Thank you for joining us uh, from the late evening in Europe. Well, it's not late evening, but it's, uh, it's starting to get late, yes. Okay. Thank you. And I'm very happy to be uh, with you. I want to begin just by asking you, um, as I ask all of our guests, what is this, your sense of what God is up to these days in uh, the Dutch church, uh, the Anabaptist church, Mennonite church, but also uh, across the continent in terms of as you see God at work? Yeah, that's for Europe. That's, that's a difficult question. Um, we see what we see happening. Well, let's, let's say for, first, first thing first, um, with the start of the, um, uh, Corona pandemic, um, churches had to, uh, Re redefine worship mm. because we couldn't get together anymore physically. So what happened is, and and I I must say I have a great respect for uh, the pastors and and volunteers and church boards uh, for this. In in within a few weeks we saw um, Zoom worship, YouTube. Uh, uh, worship uh, uh, people. Uh, the, the church made an enormous. Uh, um, how would you say that leap, technically, uh, uh, and and uh, finding out, trying to find out other ways of of keeping the community together. And and I must say that uh, even though the the, the 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 Mennonite church in the Netherlands is a small church uh, compared to the others, and um, I must say that I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with what happened here and, and how the people have, have uh, worked on to, to, to keep community, to keep communi the community together. And the, the people, usually most of the members of the, of the Mennonite churches in the Netherlands are older people, uh, just like in the States, probably in, in most churches. Um, and, and so they, they're vulnerable and the the pastors have worked so so very hard uh, to keep contact to uh, to phone people to uh, well, uh, uh, organize zoom and 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 youtube i think that is a hopeful um development um because i think that after this pandemic uh, we will not get back to what we considered as normal. I think we will have to think about whole new ways of being church, of 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 uh, of, of new ways of worship, uh, and and uh, this is a is a a um, um, very fast moving thing at the moment. I think. What we see um, happening is that uh, in the last decades, the church uh, has, has um, diminished. Not only the Mennonite church, but all churches in the Netherlands. Um, the Protestant church, which is, which is the biggest, biggest uh, the Protestant church in the Netherlands, which is the biggest one, uh, really a... a, a well, about 2 million members 20 years ago has diminished and is, is losing thousands of members, uh, thousands of members a year, 10,000 of members uh, a year. Um, the Mennonite Church, when I started as a general secretary in, uh, in 2002, we had 12,000 members. At the moment, we have around 6,000. So that's, that's going fast. Um, and I think personally that is not because of people losing their faith, uh, uh, but much more an effect of um, 
globalization, individualization, and deinstitutionalization, so to say. People don't want to be part of a institution like uh, the churches are. And the Mennonite church suffers from that too, although we try not to be so much of an institution, but still uh, we have, of course, the problem that, problem, but uh, when you do believer's baptism, it's uh, it's logical that you are small and it's also logical that you uh, that people don't have themselves baptized but that leaves us with a um an interesting um um interesting ideas for example is baptism the only way to become part of a church community or well i a few years ago i had study leave and i wrote i wrote uh, for the for the Mennonite church in the netherlands I, I wrote a piece about it and um i i i call that walking on water and i said well one of the things in in that in that uh, article was um the idea of the bounded set and the centered set and maybe you know that it's mm -hmm. it's uh, is it the bounded set is our our present model mm -hmm. you're in either in or out and what we see happening now is for example we have a a, 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 um, a, a community center or a co conference center in the netherlands where we have a very inspired team working and around that conference center is is forming a is is a community forming itself a community without members yet but it's it's a real community dopers down community uh where uh, people people are uh, uh, belonging to that community and through belonging they start believing and they are we have young people asking to be baptized in that community there in the church in the church little church there and not so much in congregations so there's a whole new way of church community or, or religious community uh, 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 forming and um the uh, the challenge for for the, the let's say the institutionalized church for the conference is to let that happen yes and not try to incorporate that within the the conference with its rules and and all kinds of things but just let that grow uh, another another hopeful um uh, development was that um, a group of young people uh, after uh, visiting the assemblies in Paraguay and later in, 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 uh, in Harrisburg um, and, and of course having there the youth assembly, uh, visiting the youth assembly, said we want to keep in contact with all those people that we met. So we will start our own movement and they call it Menno's Global Village. Mm. And they, they didn't ask us as conference to start that or to do something for them. They said, no, we will do it ourselves. And I've seen it as my task at that moment to keep our board from interfering, mm -hmm. so to say. The only thing they wanted as a, at a certain moment is money. And I think that's good. But um, so... Why did I call it walking on water? Because I think we should um, um, let go of the fear to disappear mm. as church, as churches, as, as conferences. Mm. Because if you are so, um, when you are concentrating on this fear 
of uh, and, and and you think oh we need more members we need more members we need more members and every everybody that comes in is is immediately embraced and and uh, uh, asked to do everything and runs away usually then um that that is not a inviting community when you're uh, when you're when you're paralyzed by fear and I think that we have to let go of the false securities that we think we have, uh, like the structures that we have, and we we should be we should be um, thinking of 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 uh, those those that don't, these securities are not are not our securities. Our security is Jesus. So what we should do is when Jesus calls us to let go of the securities, so to say, to step out of the boat mm -hmm. and to walk wow. on water. And um, is that translated into English? Yeah, first where part. Is it, where is it available? Uh, in my uh, computer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could you could you send it to me to make available yeah, sure. on uh, that would be great because that's beautiful yeah well it's it's you know the the funny thing is that um many many of course in 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 all those years from the 70s on a lot of papers have been written uh, with with uh, uh, all kinds of ad, uh, uh, advice of and 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 ideas and plans and and they all disappeared usually in 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 a drawer and um with this uh, this this piece that i wrote uh, uh, I, i'm very happy that uh, in many congregations it has, it has led to uh, the discussions and and i've pre I did presentations on it but but i know that uh, uh, many congregations also had uh, 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 how do you say the groups uh, uh, around this topic uh, without my interference, was only with the with the article that I wrote. So, yeah, the, I I think something happened, and something is happening. So people are losing. Yeah, I think I think people are losing the fear. Mm -hmm. And so there is there is a lot of activities, uh, um, and and uh, I think hopeful hopeful signs that that there is uh, room for us uh, for 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 the mennonite movement i must say mm -hmm. and not so much for the mennonite church as a institution as an and, institution and of course we began as a movement and we began as a movement and yeah. i think i I'm, I'm i'm convinced that the only way to um I don't want to say survive because that's not the point. Um, the only way to go on is to become a movement again. So, Hank, there's this theory you're probably familiar with called, we call it the U theory. It's just the shape of a U, the letter U, and at the bottom is the tipping point. And then it takes a while to kind of come to terms with the fact that you are dismantled or that you mm -hmm. Uh, things are falling apart, but once you do, there's there's new creativity, there's new, exactly. there's new breakthrough. Would you say that your that the Dutch Church is is this what you're describing uh, in terms of the Dutch Church? Um, I you've hope reached and, the tipping point. I hope and pray that that's the that that's yeah. the, the case. Yes, yes, and 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 I, I well when I look at the the, the responses to to uh, the ideas that are put forward. Uh, um, and I think yes, it's the, now we have the chance. Yeah. So you were promoting you were promoting dismantling a long, long time ago, Hank. Yeah, I recognize a lot of your <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what you're saying. Yes. Well, yes. and that's just to the audience, I want to note that Hank is one of my readers for uh, the draft of my book, and so thank you, Hank, for that. Um, but these these new uh, breakthroughs are really pretty uh, pretty exciting. They're small, I'm sure, but yeah. exciting and the work of the spirit, how, how difficult has it been for you to come to terms with that or for others? Or again, do you feel like you've moved through that and uh, are accepting of where you're at? 
Um, well, for me personally, I um, it has not been that difficult because I always have thought that, you know, um, change is not a threat. Change is good. Change is something that we should mm -hmm. always embrace because change, the world is always changing. Every day is a new day. And, and so we, we cannot, um, although it's, it feels secure to hold on to what we have, um, in the end, it's, um, it's, it's not progressing, it, it's regressing. Progress means change, and um, and and since since the world is changing, we have to change also. Uh, although we have this solid base in Christ, you know, I I um, when you look at at the Mennonite faith um, or the Mennonite way of believing. Um, I, I, um, when people, when people ask me what, what, give me one sentence, I always say, well, it, within our, within our way of believing, you can stand on the, on the, on the fun, fundamentals of the bit of the Bible, the, fun, the fundament of Christ and be, to be whole, to be a whole person instead of being pressed down by all the dogmas and the rules and, and, and things that, that the church puts us upon you. So within, I, I always have the feeling that, that, that um, and always had the feeling that uh, uh, being a Mennonite, I, I am called to be a free man. And, and from that, from that perspective, um, not hold say, on to. Sorry. Can you say? Can you say what that means for you to be a free man? Um, that I have, have my own responsibilities and my own choices. Mm -hmm. um, that I am not. That that I can. Um, uh, follow Christ with, with my whole heart mm -hmm. and that I'm not bound by, um, of that, I'm, yeah, bound by, well, let's say false securities, mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. house, material, material, material things. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I've been, I podcasted a bit about Hank was the fact that in our country, we have this, among many churches, this, this impetus to multiply. You know, you hear so much about multiplication, multiplication. And my concern has been, but the, but the quality of the church is such that, do we really want to multiply this thing? You know, is this something we really want to multiply? Because I'm not sure we're multiplying kingdom values. And so uh, I keep, I run up against that sometimes when I talk about dismantling. Uh, but, uh, but I love the way you have approached it. Um, thank you for what you brought to that. Yeah, you know, I, of, of course, there is this 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 commandment to 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 spread the word. Yes. But um, the question is, what word are you spreading? Yes. Yes. Um, and do do you do that by creating new church, planting churches, and and and, and attracting members and and uh, or is it by showing um, and living out God's kingdom, mm -hmm. trying to give, up, trying, yes. trying? Yes. We, we fail all the time, of course. But, but the, 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 the wonder is that we may mm -hmm. try again and again and again. I, I don't. Um, Let's say we see we see that the structures are 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 changing. So why multiply structures that are changing now? Uh, why 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 work through the old 
mechanisms and 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 uh, methods um, when we are well sometimes challenged to um, in 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 our own way of being church you know that this this we see so much division and 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 and, and uh, people turn turning away for things that you might think is is this really worth is this really worth it to turn to turn you away from the other one one of the things uh, 2011 we celebrated 200 years dutch mennonite conference in 1811 the dutch mennonite conference was started and since then we didn't have one split the years before that is filled with uh splitting and and and, and people people fighting each other um theologically um but since 2011 we have didn't split and um i think that has to do with the fact that we have learned um early to be one in in diversity and how do you think you got to that point well may <laughs> uh, i think may, maybe that has something to do with the the character of the dutch so to say that, that mm -hmm. um because well, there are historians and socialists, uh, so sociological uh, uh, scientists that, that say um, uh, that is because we had to, had to work, we have to work together because we have to fight the water. Mm -hmm. And if we fight bet um, between each other, uh, then then uh, you can't you can't build dikes in a good way. And uh, so people say that that is probably the reason why we always try to work or why we always work uh, to get a good but um i also i, I think that um um being um when you are pretending to be the body of christ when you say you are the body of christ like in first corinthians 12 in that whole that whole part is one um uh, one uh, uh, uh that challenge challenges us uh to to be one in diversity no the eye cannot be an ear but you need each other and if the smallest part of the, the the weakest part is 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 in pain the whole body is in pain and the weakest parts get the most honor and you know that and and that is that i th i think that is a wonderful image of how a community like the mennonites could be it's it's the way i look at mennonite world conference it's uh, uh, the way i look at the dutch church and we have we have very different uh, uh, we have big city uh, uh, congregations. We have rural congregations. We have evangelical, con uh, very evangelical con uh, congregations, and we have we have very liberal congregations. And at the same time, when when we are together, we always one. So, Hank, I'm wondering, is is it also related at all to the dismantling that has occurred? I mean, does dismantling get no. us to the point? No. No, I don't think so. I, 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 uh, um, because that, that's that's much older already. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to the American Church as you look across the, uh, the pond at us? Um, we, as I have said to you right before, we have congregations that are very divided um, over masking and not masking. Uh, the last election, which in so many ways uh, the ideology the ideological divide continues and is being ex exacerbated. The election did not take care of that in our churches. Uh, we've got the racial injustice uh, issues that are dividing our congregations, which I have said until we 
address those, but we really can't get on with being church and the mission of God. And so um, things I think from my perspective are pretty tough shape over here. And so there's something awfully encouraging to me about hearing you be so accepting of, the, of, of this idea that God is to let go of, to not fear mm -hmm. and to let go of. What was the statement you used uh, for walking in the water about fear? You used this little phrase about- uh, let, let go of the fear of, the, of, of disappearing. Yeah, well, I love that. Let go of the fear of disappearing. That I find tremendous comfort in. It's a prophetic mm -hmm. word to us, I think. Is there anything else you would say to us as you look at um, who we are and what we're um, going through? I think the, um, the situation in, 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 in the US is not only within the church, by the way, but I, uh, when I see and read, read the news, is very 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 difficult because the the division is so so enormous between the, 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 it's, it's a pity that that uh, the us has a a, a two-party party system um like like in the in the netherlands we have 17 parties in parliament and that's so you always need compromises you always need to, to talk to each other and I, th I, th I think that the only way to 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 um, uh, to be together and to stay together and to to look uh, to to discuss these these very difficult and and sometimes very emotional uh, uh, topics is to start reading the bible again together yeah yeah Amen. that's that's what it started about that's what's what what started our movement is reading the bible together and and not not let and, and in it from an open mind an accepting open mind and and um people are seem to be so um fixed in their ideas um and at the moment that you don't talk anymore let, let's say every every war ended with negotiations in the end you always have to talk to each other why don't why don't you start with talking And you, you know, uh, uh, and I must honestly say, we have anti-vaxxers here. We have uh, right-wing populist, uh, 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 extreme right-wing populist politicians here, and I, I, I think it's very, very hard. It's very easy to say I don't want to have to anything to do with these people, but in the end, you always will have to talk to each other. And you will have to. You will have to um investigate where the ideas come from why are they doing why are they thinking what they thinking because of most of the well I, I i think when i look at 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 at, 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 at the anti faxers and and the angry white man uh like like in in the us angry white middle-aged men and this is what's what we always hear about um it's all based on fear and if we have Christ, why don't why do we fear? What do we fear? You know, and it's it's yeah. It's just I try to find something. It's hard. It's a it's a very hard situation. Hank, this has been a really encouraging time for me, um, and I'm sure it will be for others as well. I think our view often of the Dutch Church is a. Uh, you know, that somehow the U.S. is thriving and the, the Dutch the church and European Anabaptists, you know, are passing away. I think we're, uh, you're, you're bringing prophetic word to us from your experience that we need to hear. Yeah. The, the, there's, there's one more thing. The, my experience in Mennonite World Conference has, have, has given me so much in 
of course this this whole story about about uh, again, is about the body of christ how, how how wonderful that is but it has always also given me it's also something that i wrote in 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 in, in that this uh, article um we don't have to be afraid because the story goes on yeah well even even when it disappears in the netherlands or in europe the story will go on god won't let his church disappear his church not our church his church will not disappear his people will be there and and i i personally think that that gave that gave me really a mental space you know it's it well you you can only do do, do what you can and it's in God's hand. Will you send me a copy of that paper to yeah, share sure. uh, yeah. with our group? Um, because it sounds uh, it sounds really like an important piece. It sounds like uh, the Spirit inspired you, and um, I'd love to see it and share it with others. Thanks so much for well, it's, it's, let's Let me say it is, of course, uh, uh, written for the Men Mennonite Church in the Netherlands, so there are a lot of references to the Dutch situation, but maybe you can... Uh, see what you do with it well i think maybe you're leading us you're leading the way for us here in the u.s so thank you for that and god's blessing to you and hope we can meet in person thank you and uh audience thank you for being part of this within a few minutes this will be on my youtube channel it will also be on our facebook private group that anyone's welcome to and be invited to uh church dismantled a kingdom restored thank you hank have a good evening god's blessing to you you have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.